Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Lucas, welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about this Antares plugin called Mic Mod. So I'm gonna do a quick demo of it. This plugin's included in the Antares subscription, and basically it's a plugin that allows you to have a virtual mic locker where you can switch out different mics and kind of get different sounds without having to actually purchase a bunch of different microphones. It's pretty straightforward. I was intrigued by it, so I just wanted to do a quick video demo of it and show you some of the sounds on a vocal in one of my productions, and let me know what you guys think of it. Mic Mod is basically a plugin that lets you input the mic that you use to record, and then you can put in another microphone. They have like a collection of different microphones that you can use, and it essentially models them. So it's pretty straightforward to use. There's a knob for proximity effect. If you want to dial that in, you can also add low cut and switch the pattern, which is pretty cool. And I also really like this tube saturation slider. Uh, it sounds very good to my ears, so this is pretty sweet. And uh, it's really straightforward to use, that's about it. I read the manual. I put it as the first thing on my vocal chain, and I actually pretty much for this session removed everything from the vocal, so I didn't really want it cluttered. There's no reverb or delay or anything like that. The only thing that I have is this Waves plugin RVox to just add some volume to the vocal, because we may listen to it in the context of a mix and see how that sounds. But other than that, there's no effects on the vocal. Um, it's just recorded through this U87 microphone through an Avalon preamp. That being said, I set this to Neumann U87, and for right now, I'll just bypass this and we'll just listen to what it sounds like uh, by itself and in the mix. The artist, uh, her name is Tamika. She's an amazing singer, so there's no auto-tune. There's no bells and whistles on her voice. Uh, she just has a really powerful voice. So I thought it would be a cool example. So here's what her song sounds like right now. I'll probably just loop like really small sections just so we can uh, have a consistent audio. So here's with everything disabled. I need you to stay. This is a U87. I'll solo the vocal real quick. I need you to stay. Let's check out a different microphones. So the first one that I thought I, w I really wanted to try, of course, was you know one of the most expensive ones you could get on here, the Sony C800G. So let's hear what that sounds like. I need you to stay. So it really makes quite a drastic difference. I need you to stay. Here's with it off. I need you to stay. Really scooped a lot of mids and added top ends. So it sounds really good to me. Let's try another microphone that I have always wanted to try, the Manly Reference Gold. I need you to stay. So here's Manly Gold soloed. I need you to stay. And then off back to the U87. I need you to stay. Cool. Sounds really good. I'll just solo real quick. I'll, I'll go back to the Sony and solo that one as well. I need you to stay. We could try a blue. I need you to stay. Very different. Let's do a U47. I need you to stay. Much darker. 149. I need you to stay. Oh, also a Telefunk and U47. Let's try that one too. I need you to stay. So I was going to say, let's go with that Sony because I thought that one sounded really good on her voice. And let's play with the tube saturation and see what that does. I need you to stay. I need you to stay. Just to be totally transparent, I'm actually really skeptical about these types of plugins. Steven Slate has like a microphone modeling system, and I believe UAD also has one now too. This is obviously just a plugin. The Slate one, you actually literally buy a physical microphone, and it's supposed to give you a mic locker full of of options that you could use. But I'm pretty skeptical of those types of things because I just would personally rather um, save up and get the right microphone or maybe two microphones that I feel like would work well for my 
type of music and just kind of roll with those and sort of have limitations. I would just personally prefer having the real physical microphone. But if you're the kind of person that really wants to experiment with like using a lot of different microphones and trying digital modeling technology, I think that'd be a really cool option. Uh, this Antares plugin is just sort of a way to get your feet wet in it without having to buy hardware. But these types of things are really not for me. I like the investment and just like the, the hardware component of having real equipment that's physically there without having to use software bells and whistles to emulate other things. So I would rather invest in microphones and you don't necessarily need to have the most expensive microphone of all time. Technology is really good right now and you can get great sounding microphones for a lot cheaper than you could in the past. So I think it's super worth it. And another thing about microphones too is that the most expensive mic is not necessarily the best fit for the particular instrument that you're recording. For example, a guitar, one of the best sounds you could get is just with an SM57, which is literally one of the cheapest mics that you could buy. So that's all I have to say about this. Let me know if you find this helpful. You can download the Antar subscription using my affiliate link if you want to support the channel. So that'll be below. And I'll also have the links to Tamika's music as well as some of my music in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.